past 7.5 purchases in foreign currency. Plus, we will do some transaction of purchase invoice, AP invoice entry, journal of transaction report, AP payment, and we will view some of the report after we have done for AP payment. So firstly, we will do the transaction of purchase invoice. So please go to purchase and select purchase invoice. Click the new button. Select the creditor which is supplier D, the USD cost uh, supplier. Enter the supplier D O number which is 1223. For supplier invoice number, please enter the same which is 1223. You may amend the date or change the date to 8 of January. Then either you click on enter to add a column or you may click the plus sign button to add the new column or the new row. Now select the item code which is PHS001 for Samsung 17. After you have done select, please enter the quantity which is 2 unit. The unit price is 500 ringgit and total is 1000. So basically this 1000 is in USD. And after have been converted to the Malaysian ringgit which is 3500. And system will be also uh, convert the amount under the local total. So if in ringgit Malaysia is 3500 ringgit and in USD is 1000. So once you have done with this transaction, please click on save. Now, let's go with the next transaction. The next transaction will be AP invoice entry. So we close first for the purchase invoice and please go to AP AP invoice entry and click the new button to add a new transaction. Select the creditor which is supplier D also for USD and then enter the supplier invoice number 1234 change the date the invoice number just let it remain by default change the date to 9th of January and then click the plus sign on the top to add a new row for the purchase account we select 610 for purchases account description just remain as default and to account rate this one will be automatic calculate with 3.5 because in the earlier task we already done the setting for the currency maintainer so that's why under the transaction all the rate will be automatic Amount to enter is 101,000 USD. So you will see automatic on the local net total here will be 3,850 ringgit Malaysia after being converted to 3.5. So description at the bottom you can put on purchase. So once you have done this transaction, please untick for proceed new AP invoice, then click on save. So we have done the transaction of AP invoice entry. Now if you want to view the posting detail, you may click back the transaction, click on view. On the top here, under edit button, you may click on view posting detail. To view the double entry that involved in this transaction. So you can see the summary here. The supplier D already been credited with 3850 ringgit and under purchases account already be debited with 3850 ringgit. So basically you still can view the double entry or view posting detail but under the transaction of GL, AR and AP only. You can view the posting detail. Under stock sales and purchase, you cannot see the posting detail. Only available under GL, AR, and AP. So once you have done view, you may just click on close. 
Now, let's view the Journal of Transaction Report. This one is before payment. We assume before we do the payment, we want to view the Journal of Transaction. So, L and C on Journal of Transaction Report. So, the date, please filter from 1st January until 31st January. And then click on Inquiry. Do the column of currency code and original amount. You can just right click and select column chooser. So we can drag the currency code and put beside the reference to to see the code and also the original amount. Okay, so this is the original credit. And this is the original debit. Correction. Original debit, we enter here. Original credit, we enter here. Okay. So, you can see, once you already drag out the column chooser, you can see this is the, this is the original amount. Okay. This is under USD, US dollar. And this is for Ringgit Malaysia. Same goes to here, okay. It will be double entry involved, which is debit and credit. So you can click on preview to view in the statement. So this is the journal of transaction listing debit and also credit. Under the journal of transaction listing, it will list down with the date, with the supplier, and also with the invoice number. So you can refer to here. For example, like this one, under supplier D, already credited with 3500 and under purchases account, already be debited with 3500 Same goes to the next transaction, invoice number 2, has been credited to supplier D account, 3850 ringgit while under purchases account has been debited with 3850 ringgit so after we have done view the journal of transaction report this one is before we made the payment now let's do the payment please go to ap ap payment go to ap ap payment and click the plus sign to generate the new ap payment the creditor we select is supplier d description you may enter payment on account change the date to 10 of january payment method select is pbbpj and the payment amount is 1000 ringgit. So as you can see here, under supply D, already involved with two invoices. So please note off with invoice 1, 2, 2, 3. Please note off the invoice with 1, 2, 2, 3. So to note off, just tick the box. Just check the box. And make sure that you have unapplied amount is zero. So once you have done, please click on save. Do you want to enter check number? No. Since we don't have any check number, we just click on no. Now, we have done made the payment. So now let's go back to our journal of transaction report. And view again the journal. So the date is 1st January until the 1st of January and click on inquiry again. Now you will see this is the amount that already been made. Okay, you can see the balance is 7,350 ringgit. Alright, after we have made the payment, can you see the PBBP, PBBPJ? If you click on the amount, it will straightforward direct to the AP payment transaction and the payment have been made is 1000 ringgit. So this is the journal that involved with the supplier D. You may also 
right click and click on column chooser to bring out the original credit and also original debit. You will see under this PBBPJ, the original credit is 1,000 ringgit and supply ID already been debited with 1,000 ringgit. So you may also click on preview to view this journal of transaction listing. So this is the listing of the payment that already been made just now to PBBPJ. So once you done view the journal of transaction report, you may close the transaction. That's all for task 7.5.